Today, you become part of a bold movement. A movement that provides critical support for a man diagnosed with prostate cancer during a pandemic. A movement that supports spouses, children, and loved ones whose lives have been turned upside down by cancer. A movement that gives hope to a prostate cancer patient and his family at a time they need it the most. Today is Giving Tuesday. Please join us in the bold movement to end prostate cancer. Hello, I'm Tony Minter. I'm Greg Broy. Thank you for joining Zero for our special Giving Tuesday coverage. Greg and I are both prostate cancer survivors, so we know exactly what this day and your donations mean to men and their families battling this disease. Our goal on this Giving Tuesday is to raise $50,000, and we need your help. When you donate today, you're supporting men and their families through their toughest moments. Did you know cancer patients who are connected with a patient advocacy organization have better outcomes? That's why Zero's programs, programs that offer emotional and financial support for patients and caregivers are so critical. And thanks to Zero's recent merger with us too, we've added support groups all across the country, helping every member of the prostate cancer community. Your donations are a lifeline for patients, survivors, and a network of people tied to this disease. Today, only on Giving Tuesday, your donation is tripled to have three times the impact. As part of our special Giving Tuesday coverage, you'll meet all sorts of men fighting prostate cancer. So as you donate, you'll actually see the faces and the lives of the people you're making a difference for. ZeroCancer.org is the fastest and easiest way to give. That's also where we'll be celebrating you and the impact you're making on the fight to end prostate cancer. Let's begin by introducing you to a man you may recognize if you're on TikTok. He's known as Cowboy Max, and he and his gold ranch have become a viral sensation. A few months ago, he announced to his followers that he'd been diagnosed with prostate cancer. His prostate cancer journey is just beginning, and we're grateful because today, Cowboy Max is opening his home and his heart to zero and to you. Hi, I'm Max Wade, also known as Cowboy Max on TikTok. I'm a husband, a father, goat rancher, and I have prostate cancer. At Galloping Goat Pumpkin Patch in New Mexico, you'll find this. This is Cowboy Max Wade. With over 6 million views on TikTok and nearly 300,000 followers, this 46-year-old father of three has been sharing his happy herd adventures and his roller coaster of a year with fans. Uh, just a few months ago, I was having some real issues with my heart and uh, I was on a heart monitor and turns out I ended up having to have emergency uh, uh, pacemaker surgery to, to help my heart work along and that's going on okay. But during that time, I got diagnosed with prostate cancer. It was in July when Cowboy Max made the announcement on TikTok. I didn't ever know whether I was gonna have cancer or not, but, but I didn't expect there to be the emotions that there were. I mean, it hit me hard. Zero and Cowboy Max connected in September during Prostate Cancer Awareness Month. I think that Zero is doing a great job of just being there for, for me, for other men that are going through it. Uh, and I think that's the thing, is just being a resource for us. Cowboy Max is like a lot of men who've been diagnosed with prostate cancer during the pandemic. Shuffling doctor's appointments and surgery dates, COVID-19 protocols, delays. It's a stressful time for patients and families. Watching my dad go through this has just been like a reality check. I can get pretty worked up about it because it's a stressful thing. And um, the thing that's been going through my mind is that I just have to trust the Lord and trust the people that are working with my dad and have confidence in them that they're gonna help him. Cowboy Max's father also had prostate cancer. So Max has been vigilant about getting checked. His message that early detection saves lives is one he's sharing with his TikTok followers. I think men, by nature or not don't want to go to the doctor and they definitely you know when it comes to things having to do with the prostate and that we definitely don't want to talk about it uh but i i, I keep saying this phase to myself i keep you know everything that i go through whether it be 
the exams, the tests, the biopsies, and now up the, the, the pending surgery is uh, it's a lot better than the alternative. Today, Cowboy Max is keeping busy. He's working his goat ranch, sharing joyful moments with his happy herd, spending the holidays with his family. And like thousands of other men out there right now, he's also battling prostate cancer. Cowboy Max is scheduled for his surgery next month. Max, we know you're watching, and you can be sure your Zero family will be checking in on you. Thank you for sharing your story with us, Max. Giving Tuesday is known as the world's biggest day of generosity. For Zero and for you, this day is a movement, a bold movement to end prostate cancer. Here is Zero's CEO and President, Jamie Burse, with a special Giving Tuesday message. Hello, everyone. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving and you're looking forward to a joyful holiday season. For many of us, the pandemic probably feels a little less stressful these days as we're getting out a little more and spending more time with our loved ones. But unfortunately, COVID-19 continues to wreak havoc on men and families battling prostate cancer. Patients are still experiencing heartbreaking interruptions in treatments and delays in annual screenings, and they face numerous other obstacles as the pandemic continues. Patients and their families need you urgently. When you donate to Zero this Giving Tuesday, you're offering a patient and their family a lifeline. Zero 360 offers free comprehensive financial and emotional support. Our mentor and our caregiver connector programs offer peer-to-peer -peer emotional support and now, us two support groups are bringing in patients, survivors, caretakers, and the entire prostate cancer community together. Your generosity makes sure no one fights prostate cancer alone. These are the gifts you're giving a patient and their family at what could be the darkest time of their life. And I know that many of us have busy lives, especially during the holiday season. But please take a moment to remember the patients and families you'll be meeting during our special Giving Tuesday coverage today. They need your help, they need your hope, and they need your donations. Thank you all for your compassion and dedication to helping men and their families when they need it most. We can't zero out prostate cancer without you. Don't go anywhere. Zero special Giving Tuesday coverage is just getting started. Coming up, Pedal power in a passion to end prostate cancer. Survivor Robert Ferrari bikes coast to coast to raise awareness and funds. And don't forget, today is a triple match day. Donate on this Giving Tuesday and you make three times the impact on a man battling prostate cancer. November is an important month for the prostate cancer community. Many of you may know about Movember, an annual event that encourages men to grow a mustache to raise awareness for men's health issues like prostate cancer. Also known as No Shave November, the ultimate goal is to change the face of men's health by increasing early cancer detection, diagnosis, and treatment. November also marks National Family Caregivers Month, where we recognize and honor caregivers nationwide, raise awareness for issues they face, and increase support for them. When I was diagnosed with prostate cancer, I was lucky to have my wife by my side to help me make important treatment decisions and to care for me. The person who's diagnosed goes into another place. 100%, and, right. and, and you need somebody to be able to say, remember, this is what he said, yeah. the doctor said. Remember, this is how we clean the catheter. Or remember, you have to get up after the operation and walk. This is where a spouse comes in. This is exactly what happens when a spouse, a caring spouse comes in. She's always asking the questions that I forget to ask. It's really important. So it's like having a, it's like having a backstop to a catcher. You go through this together. I had to process it the way I needed to process it. Sharon needed the backup with her friends because she needed support. You need to find your people. You need to be able to scream, yell, and 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 talk talk about woe is me with with some people, and that doesn't necessarily mean your spouse. Please join me in thanking and supporting the caregivers in your life, not only this month, but all year round. It's a tough job, but we are so grateful to all of you, and I can say with certainty that you are making an enormous difference in the lives of men with prostate cancer. 
Giving Tuesday is special for a lot of reasons, but if we could pick one, it's that today is a triple match day. That means your $25 donation becomes $75, $100 becomes $300, and most importantly, we can make three times the impact on a man fighting prostate cancer. I'd like to turn things over now to a man who understands firsthand what your giving spirit can mean to a man diagnosed with prostate cancer. Please meet Ted Healy. Hello, everyone. My name is Ted Healy, and I'm coming to you from my home here in Portland, Oregon for this Giving Tuesday. Prostate cancer was like a tornado that came into my life in February of 2019. Not only was I concerned about my health and my family, but I was overwhelmed by the cost associated with this disease. That's where 0360 came in. A kind caseworker took my phone call and helped me navigate through the details of my insurance. Not only did Zero save me thousands of dollars, but the most important thing was it took a lot of stress off my shoulders and helped me focus on the most important thing, and that is beating prostate cancer. When you donate today, you're supporting programs like Zero 360 and men like me who need Zero's programs. And with your gift being tripled, you're helping even more men and their families. So from me, a prostate cancer survivor, I'd like to thank you for donating to Zero, the end of prostate cancer. Giving Tuesday is the movement that unleashes the power of generosity. And generosity is definitely a word that comes to mind. We think of prostate cancer survivor and fundraiser, Robert Ferrari. With his bike, supplies, and a big mission, Robert Ferrari took to the roads and trails. When you're going through cancer, it's very similar to going through a bad day of cycling that when you're in the middle of it, it feels like the final chapter, but it could be chapter 13 in a 26 chapter book, you know? Diagnosed with prostate cancer two years ago, this lifelong cyclist decided to bike 5,000 miles across the country to raise awareness about a disease that also plagued his grandfather, father, and brother, all diagnosed before age 60. I knew when I went into this that I would have memories of the scenery, but it's the people that you meet that um, that that stay with you, and I think I think the people that you meet in your life, or the people that you have in your life, are, are what can be very empowering to get through a cancer diagnosis as well. Robert documented his 90-day trek from Washington State to Maine on Facebook, and along the way, he caught the attention of journalists, giving him another platform to educate people about prostate cancer. It doesn't have to be embarrassing. It doesn't have to be um, something that you die from. So I uh, prostate cancer, I'll ride for prostate cancer. Robert's cross country journey raised $12,000 for zero. Today, he's back home in Southwest Virginia with his family. He has a clean bill of health and a continued mission to end prostate cancer. After you get a cancer diagnosis, no matter how good the outcome is, you kind of just realign your values, if you will. Thank you, Robert, for your generosity on this Giving Tuesday. And for those of you donating right now, your generosity is also saving lives by supporting Zero's programs, support groups, and research. You're making a difference in the fight to end prostate cancer. Have you made your Giving Tuesday donation yet? If you have, be sure to check out Zero's social media and website today. We're saying thank you all day long. Coming up, our host and Zero champion Tony Minter shares his prostate cancer journey when Zero's special Giving Tuesday coverage continues after this important message about Gaming Tuesday. Hello everyone, I'm Jason Wiesner, Zero's manager of live stream fundraising, and I'm so glad that you could join us on this Giving Tuesday. Did you know that Giving Tuesday is also Gaming Tuesday? That's right, Zero has a team of gamers who are live streaming today. They're also fundraising and they're doing it all to end prostate cancer. You can check out those streams on Twitch and Twitter. And if you happen to be a gamer yourself, we'd love to chat with you about fundraising for Zero. Just go to zerocancer.org slash live streaming to learn more. Thanks again for watching. Thank you for donating and thank you for helping to end prostate cancer. When you donate today, 
I want you to think about men like me. I was diagnosed in 2012, and I can't imagine what my journey would have been like without zero. Here was my prostate cancer story. I walk in, I'm sitting there, she's at her desk. She says, I got good news and bad news. She said, the bad news is you have cancer. Let us pray. Our God and our Father, we're so thankful and grateful. And she said, the good news is there's a good chance that we caught it early. And I thought about it and I said, oh, okay. Well, this is good, this is good. And then I got that look, she's like, good. It's like, yeah, now I get to talk about what I am experiencing. Hopefully, I can help some people. For me, I decided on the course of the treatment for prostate cancer. And nine years later, the prostate cancer is still in remission. That's one of those things where you have to advocate for yourself. There are a lot of men out there that don't even know what a prostate is. I haven't been in the medical field in the military. I really understand a lot of medical terminology and things that relate to the body. I got to thinking, how many men would be okay doing research and trying to figure out all of the doctor speak? And so I dove in, I, I tried to learn as much as I could and put myself in a position to be available to, to talk to men. I started a support group that was for newly diagnosed. Started making a trip to Washington, D.C. to the Zero Summit. Had I not been going to those summits and had the ability to talk to someone about that, I probably still would have been suffering in silence. You give me a smile. You don't want to make you happy, don't you? <laughs> it's a difficult fight to fight. And if it was not for my family, it would be probably easy for me to give up. My wife showed me what it meant when it says for better or for worse. And there were times when I would say to her, I, I can't believe you're still here. So now, <laughs> now we get to the real deal. Even though people call you a superwoman, you still need a support system. And I remember um, in the hospital one day, I'm in the cafeteria crying by myself because I didn't know what was gonna happen. I'm sorry. I'm just glad he's here. And so I needed to do what I could to make sure that he stayed here. I know that uh, none of us come to stay forever. And I wanna make sure that I've done everything that I can do as it relates to prostate cancer. Thus, I aspire to inspire before I expire. That's why I'm here. That's my purpose. Tony, your story is making an impact on men out there. So thank you for telling it. Thank you, Greg. Remember, the men and women you've met today are just a tiny slice of the people you're helping by donating. Maybe you're a survivor like Tony and me. Maybe you're a patient or a caretaker. Whoever you are, Zero is here with support. Thank you for watching our special Giving Tuesday coverage. Keep those donations coming in. And thank you for being a part of a bold movement to end prostate cancer. Donating to Zero on Giving Tuesday is easier than ever before. On Facebook, click the donate button. On Instagram, head over to our profile page. And you can always give at zerocancer.org. Remember, donate today and your gift is tripled. I'm Zero Champion, Stephanie Mueller, and I wanna say thank you for helping us to get to our $50,000 fundraising goal by the end of today and for helping to end prostate cancer. We can do this.